Do not love the world, nor the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. 1 John 2.15 Genuine believers love God and reject the world in all of its philosophies. As the God of this world, Satan has designed a system that the Bible simply calls the world. The Greek term refers to a system encompassing false religion, errant philosophy, crime, immorality, materialism, and the like. Of it, the Apostle John wrote, All that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the boastful pride of life, is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the world is passing away, and also its lusts. But the one who does the will of God abides forever. While the world and its fleshly preoccupations are but temporary realities, the true believer has eternal life and will abide forever. When someone becomes a Christian, he acquires a new set of goals and motivations. The world and its lusts no longer attract but repel him. He no longer loves the world nor the things in the world. At times, he may be lured into worldly pursuits, but he is doing not what he loves but what he hates. That's because new life in Christ gives the believer a love for God and the things of God. Jesus said those who follow him are not of the world, just as he was not of the world. We still move about in it and do his will, but we are not of it. That's why Jesus specifically asked the Father to keep us from the evil one. We're vulnerable to being sucked into this evil world system now and then, but our love is towards God. That love is what will redirect our focus toward heavenly priorities. Do you reject the world and its false religions, damning ideologies, and godless pursuits? Instead, do you love God, his truth, and his kingdom, and all that he stands for? If you reject the world and its devilish desires, this is a strong indication you have new life in Christ. God bless.